Just got back from Taco Bell. I look uh, trash right now at the moment, and I am going to come back all clean and nice. Just got out of the shower. See my hair is like a little wet. Whatever. Just got back. I really hope I'm able to make a video. Oh, the lighting not very really good. I'm just gonna face this way. Ah, oh, there. The lighting's better. There we go. Um, I just got back from work. Talk about. I've been working like eight hours, sheriff. Boy, I was supposed to get out of four, but it, it got busy and busy, and I was just trying to get out of four, and just like, hey, I gotta go, because I want to make a video and vlog this, so yeah, anyway, I already so I show some ideas of what to do today, and just know what I edit, I'm always editing like at midnight, that's a say up, editing. About to go check the mail because there's something else I bought for the camera that hopefully it did came. It, I already checked online because it like said it delivers. So let's see if it's here. Is this it? I think I found it. Yep. This is it. There you go. Anyway, let's go check this bad boy when I get back to the house. Whew. Anyway, oh, another announcement that I wanted to make is that my other video, the one I just made like yesterday or the two two days ago, that, and like during the video, you probably guys heard like a little rattling noise. I realized it's the little things that were on my camera, to, like, to put like a, a necklace or a handkerchief. Oh my god, what am I saying? Whatever, something to like to hold the camera with, but I wasn't going to use that. I don't have, I don't really need that. So I, I already took them off, so like, this video just should like be less rattling noise. Anyway, the things that I bought is for, is for my camera, so like, if there was air or wind coming into my camera, you wanna, you guys would not, you guys would not hear as much, cause like, it's to improve the in quality, cause I'm not using a external microphone. I'm not using any special microphone, but honestly, I think the audio on this, it's really great. It's just... I'm going to improve it. Anyway, how do I open this? I already just like, I just like cut it and then still didn't open it. There we go, got it. Oh, I got it. I only got these for like $12 on Amazon. They're called, they're just, um, micro, micro wrench jammers. That's what it's called. Basically, it's like these little, Things if I can just zoom in, it's like these things that you see right here. That's why I'm installing the top of my camera, and I will show you guys what it looks like afterwards. As you can guys can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. These little things right here. It's like I don't even think I can like even zoom in that. Like oh can oh they can you guys see it now? It's like these little things I have installed. That will help me and improve my audio. <laughs> oh shoot, it's recording. Crap. What am I doing? Okay, I'm outside as you can tell. Oh, I am going to do a soy time or simply talk about more about the deaf community or like the deaf culture that I think I want to share more about because I don't think a lot of people understand a lot about deaf people or like what they're like or like what they face and like what they go through like to be honest I think people can you guys like see me clear because I can't tell if you guys can see me clear the number one thing that we probably face is the fact that people seem to think we're not as good as normal people or like if we can't hear we can't be able to do what hearing people can do like especially when like there's jobs out there that are like you have to be able to hear things get things going quick quick um for example like in a fast food place do you want it to be a drive through or a counter you need to be able to hear in order to like do things and all that and I'm like that's not true because like 
most deaf people now, if you have, if you guys don't know, deaf people can actually read your lips. Like, you just talk to them, like, straight, and give them the eye contact. That's like the number one rule in talking to a deaf person. You must give them eye contact. Like, if you do not give them eye contact, it's pretty much disrespect. So, try to always give them eye contact to a deaf person because they are talking to you and and for American ASO, it's all about looking at one and each, one each other and communicating. And but like the difference between deaf people and hearing people is that we don't really like express. Hearing people don't really like, express themselves, but deaf people we express themselves. So like we honestly, deaf people is great because like we express ourselves so that people understand what we're going through and like. People, cause like, people in the deaf community kind of like have each other's backs. Like, hearing people, I don't really see that. Hearing people, it's just like, eh, normal. In this generation, eh, I don't know. It's just, there's just a lot of people just, by expression, I'm talking about like facial expressions. Like, this is facial expression in it, so, so like, and it's by expression. So like, if I were to say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, like, Hungry, like you raise your eyebrows up, saying, "How hungry are you?" Because if you went, they're gonna say, "Eh, you're not that hungry." And or if you wanted to say, "I'm tired," I'm tired. Like give a little eye roll or something, cause like I'm tired. Or I forget. It's like joking or something like that. It's like joking, like. You guys have a smile. Another thing I want to announce is that deaf people are not dumb. Deaf people can be smart. Very smart. Speaking of me. And the reason why I'm smart, honestly, when I started school, I... I don't know, it's just... When I started school, I wasn't really smart at the beginning. I didn't have parents who pressured me, but they told me Hey, I want you to do a little bit better. I want you to be like an AB animal, right? But then, like, I told myself, like, why not be an A animal? Because, like, I'm hearing impaired. And, like, there's all these hearing kids that are, like, smart AP. I'm not trying to criticize them or, like, any way. I'm just, like, just because I'm hearing impaired does not mean I can't be as good as them. Like, what makes me any different? I still have the brain. Just because I can't hear doesn't mean I can't study. I can't get the same brain as them. And so, like, deaf people are not dumb. I want that to get the complete out of your head. Because deaf people, education are the same as hearing people. Speaking of me, because my GPA is probably better than yours at, on an average. But, like, I'm not going to be, like, probably better than yours. But my GPA is a 3.9. So, I mean, I'm almost a 4.0. I don't really need to get the best. I'm not trying to brag or, like, get up there but I'm just saying I have a 3.9 and why does that stand out or make a big deal because I get a scholarship for being hearing impaired and deaf yeah but and but but okay but saying that is that the scholarship only requires a solid 3.0 or 2.0, something like that, where it's just straight C's. That's all you need to get the scholarship. And yet, my grade is over that. And so I'm like, one of, one of my goals is to stand out and tell, to show every deaf person that you can get that board promote. You can work hard enough. It is not impossible for you to get that best grade and get the best result and be smart because I don't think nothing is impossible as long as you try you're completely best and even if you try to completely best and fail try again never stop because you will get there and yeah I just I have a really good gr grade GPA and I just feel like I needed to say that and there's not I can't, I have not really like thought of this out, but like I just wanted to get this video out here of what I think deaf people should 
be recognized as. Like, I believe that people should be equal to white people. So just like race, like all race should be equal, but deaf people should be equal too. Or anybody with a disability in fact. Not just hearing, I'm not just shining just for only deaf people. Anybody who has a disability should still be equal and should still be treated the same. I honestly don't think anybody with a disability wants to be changed thought or like be treated as so helpful. I feel like we, I mean, we appreciate it, but like sometimes we want to stand up for ourselves. Sometimes we want to prove something, but we all getting all the help from everybody else. What is there to prove? Like, you thought of that? It's like, as much as I make this video, I'm very cringy, cause like, I keep failing of what I'm saying. I keep wanting the other things I'm saying, blah, 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 blah. But I, didn't, I think you guys got what I'm saying, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And please smash that like button and subscribe button if you want more content. And I'm plus, I'm pretty sure I'm uploading a video after this. And I don't know how many videos I'm making, but like this is gonna be up, and then the next video should be up right after it, or like somewhere. But yeah.